Hey, it's Nikachu. In this video, we're gonna go over Magic the Gathering hacks that actually work. Many players have trouble double sleeving their deck. So for this hack, I'm going to show you how to easily double sleeve your Magic the Gathering cards. We'll be double sleeving today with Dragon Shield Outer Sleeves, but also KMC Perfect Size Inner Sleeves. And the reason we double sleeve our cards are to protect them from dust, moisture, anything that can damage the card. Take my playset of Jace the Mind Sculptors. I've been shuffling them at my desk since 2010. And look how dirty and worn they all are. Ugh, that looks terrible. It's definitely time to change these. But you want to double protect them because one sleeve is just not enough. If we take the Jace out of the outer sleeve, look at all that surface damage that's being protected by the inner sleeve. I once dumped an entire mug of coffee in my bag, completely drenching my all-foil magic deck. The only thing that saved my cards from the pool of coffee were the fact that they were double sleeve. Double sleeving has protection from coffee. So let's switch out these Jaces for some new sleeves. So step one, insert your card upside down into the inner sleeve. The exposed end is what we're going to insert into the outer sleeve. But step two is where most people find themselves in trouble, because when they try to double sleeve, it ends up like this. Ah, What's going on here? Come on, come on. Ugh, again? Ugh. Please go in, please, please, please. Ugh. How do I get this thing in without the sleeve falling off? How to get double sleeve in there? This is a big problem because obviously your magic card isn't protected at all. Even if you squeeze the inner sleeve in, the bottom is incredibly exposed. Allow me to show you how to double sleeve your Magic the Gathering cards with this one simple trick. All you have to do is stick the card in until you feel some resistance, then stick your finger inside to help guide the sleeve all the way to the bottom. This makes sleeving your Magic the Gathering cards like incredibly easy. So even tight inner sleeves will be compatible with a lot of outer sleeves. And voila, we have a perfectly double sleeve set of Jace the Mind Sculptors. By the way, it's really common for air to be trapped in your freshly sleeved cards. So all you have to do is rock it back and forth until the air has completely escaped from the sleeves. So was that helpful? That will be $5. In this next hack, apparently we can uncurl our foils. I put my curled foils in a glass food storage container with a tight fitting lid. And in the container, I put a moisture pack for herb storage, like a Bovida pack. The card needs to be at 35 to 65% humidity to be straight. Most of the foils I get are curled from being too dry. So I use a 62% humidity pack and it takes 68 hours to straighten out the worst case. That's so crazy because forever people have been telling me that humidity is the reason the card is curled in the first place. Keep your foils away from the moisture. So the real problem is I'm not keeping my foils at the right humidity? Hmm. So I have some foil cards here from none other than the Notorious Commander Legends. Uh, notorious for being perhaps the absolute worst foils ever designed by Wizards of the Coast. Look at these things. Look at them rock like that. Magic cards are not supposed to do that. These cards are so curled, I can use a Pringles can as a deck box. All right, we've got our chamber. We've got our curled magic cards. And we have the Bovetta 62% humidity pack do not eat or tear open so we've got our cards we have our moisture packet we'll place it inside the chamber we'll seal her up excellent we'll keep checking on this throughout the video to see the results in this next hack, I'm going to show you how to easily search your deck for the card that you want. So I'm playing Azorius Merfolk, and you know what? For turn two, I'm going to play a fetch land from my hand. Crack it to look for a basic land card out of my deck. But the most annoying thing when searching your deck is, where is the card? Where is my land? 
Search, search, search. Where is it? Where's my basic lens? But there's an easy hack to find your most searchable cards. Simply make them white bordered and they're going to pop out from your deck. See, my basic lands are right there. If I just gradually fan out my deck, it actually becomes really easy to find my white bordered cards. Now I'm using white bordered basics, but you can use white bordered anything. And if the card doesn't come in white border, you can just white border the card. There are some weird magic players out there that just do that for fun. But if you don't want to damage the card, you could always use a fancy inner sleeve with art on it that distinguishes it from the rest of your deck. This hack makes it easier for you to search your library, wasting less time and less mental energy. 24 hours later. Okay, so it's been like one day, so let's see how well these... These things are doing they're still not straight it doesn't look like are they doing better are they doing worse so i've opened the chamber and so this came from inside and i kept this one from before i even put in the chamber look at that it's act it's actually working it's flattening out see what i need i need more moisture i want these perfectly flat so we're gonna so squish them between these two humidity packets and we'll see what happens in this next magic hack, I'll show you how to turn any magic card into exactly the card you want. All you need is a magic card and a Sharpie. Let me show you how it's done. And there you have it. You can make any artifact creature, planeswalker, enchantment, land, anything at all. Throw it in a sleeve and it's good to go. But full disclaimer, just in case somebody needs to know this, these are not tournament legal. The last thing I need to hear is some judge telling me that my channel- What the f- this next hack will help you remember which cards you've revealed to your opponent. You see, I play Merfolk and we've got this card called Silver Gill Adept, which says, as an additional cost to play Silver Gill Adept, reveal a Merfolk card from your hand or pay three more mana. Well, I'll play my Silver Gill Adept and reveal the card Harbinger of the Tides, which is a very tricky card because for two extra mana, I can play it as though it has flash. And when it enters the battlefield, I can bounce my opponent's tapped creatures. But how will I keep track that this card is in my hand? After all, my opponent's not gonna forget that I have this card, so I need to know that they know They've got the Harbinger. And sure, you could just write it down, but I have a much more elegant solution. By easily turning the card upside down, I can easily distinguish cards that have been revealed and which ones that have not. The same strategy applies if you have to reveal your entire hand to a card like Thoughtseize. Those Thoughtseize players should be minding their own business. After they're done resolving their spell, you can take your entire hand and know that this is all revealed information. Every new card that you draw will be right side up. As time goes on, you play the upside down cards because you know they've already been revealed. The cards right side up are still a secret. And it may not seem like a big deal, but Magic the Gathering is a hidden information game. And those small little advantages are the difference between the pro players and the amateurs. One week later. These are looking pretty straight. So it's been a week. Let's see how, I don't know, flat these things have gotten. On the left here, we've got the card that wasn't treated by humidity. And on the right, this has been in here for a little over a week, and this is actually working. This completely blows my mind. It changes everything I thought I knew about foils. And if you guys want to see me further experiment on this, different foils, different levels of humidity over a longer period of time, if that interests you, let me know in the comment section below. But as it stands, this hack actually works. Which of these hacks were your favorite? Smash like for magic hacks and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because 90% of you don't even do that.